Okay, so for the first fight of this year or season, but anyway, look at it. And it's come down to finally doing Moon Knight, Mark Spencer, versus Ben, Bruce Wayne. Now, of course, I'll go into a little bit about the character. I actually was a big fan of Moon Knight in the 90s when I read a lot more Marvel than I do now. <clears throat> in the 90s, he had a couple of series that really never seemed to really gain a lot of traction. He was normally the guy who would pop up in a, uh, a Spider-Man or he'd pop up in a, a Daredevil. <clears throat> he's also in a, he's off in, uh, I think the West Coast Avengers, so he's in one of the lesser-known adventure groups. His costume style is predominantly all white. Occasionally he's white with more handsome black, but he always stuck out because most people he was, he was running with had all these different sort of color patterns. You either had the full red of Daredevil or red and gray, depending on the time frame, and the, the red and blue that you had of Spider-Man, where Moon Knight, white. <clears throat> Initially he was designed to be a villain for, uh, I think it was the Werewolf of... Is it a Werewolf at Night? Oh, that's yeah, Werewolf at Night. <clears throat> And depending on the writer, he either had super strength or had super abilities that came from the phase of the moon. Hence the phrase Moon Knight. I want to say it was like Nusho. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Was the Egyptian god that she gave him. Well, he was the avatar of that Egyptian god to give him all his powers. Bruce Wayne, Batman. You know, he is one of the one of the greatest tacticians, one of the greatest fighters in the, the DC universe. Character who has essentially no superpowers. So the fact that he's the pinnacle of all things human. Now I do these through a non criteria system. Everything is weighted, weighted the same. Intelligence, <clears throat> fine ability, strength, speed, durability, invulnerability, energy projection, versatility, and X Factor. So we'll get right into this. Intelligence. Depending on writer, Moon Knight is a somewhat psychotic individual who either has superpowers because he's actually mystically enchanted or because he's crazy. Batman, world's greatest detective, one of the world's best tacticians. Fighting ability. You know, this one, I think I'm going to go with... There was a phrase that Taskmaster said. He can copy anybody's fighting style. He does not want to copy Moon Knight's fighting style. Because Moon Knight would probably get punched in the face, then dodge a punch. Moon Knight, very good boxer. Lots of military training. Batman, trained by some of the best people in the DC universe. Batman is more of a fan of dodging than, than taking a, an, an attack. Strength. The yes, one is mystically enchanted. So he actually does have a higher degree of strength. Speed. You do have the enhanced reflexes of Moon Knight, but he's normally never shown dodging a tremendous amount of attacks. He normally has much better armor. And Batman has shown to be able to actually dodge a decent amount of, of, of bullet fire. So I should say when it comes to overall speed, even though there is reflexes, I'm actually going to the speed edge to Batman, just based on how well he actually uses the speed. Durability. This is how is your endurance do you have a healing factor? In Moon Knight, again, mystically enchanted, actually has a really good level of endurance and a slight healing factor. So even though Batman is the pinnacle of human, of a just regular human, you've got a guy who's kind of lower level than that. So he does have a small amount of healing factor as well as enhanced endurance. And vulnerability. Batman's suit, I'm going with his, this is his standard suit. So he's not wearing a suit that he'd wear to fight Superman. This is, you know, these are two guys plucked from existence facing each other. So they don't have any sort of pre-knowledge. Batman suit normally is designed for for bullets, for knives. It's a pretty basic design of suit that's designed to help him fight criminals. Moon Knight, on the other hand, when it comes to his suit, it's adamantium, so it's, it's carbonium, which would be the flexible version of adamantium. So he's actually wearing a really strong suit. Allow him to take a tremendous amount of physical abuse. Which actually, of course, would, would make sense. You know, he, he's not dodging attacks because his suit's going to take the brunt of the damage. Energy projection. How are these guys at range? You know, I'm giving this one to Moon Knight. You're probably thinking, but, but Batman has, yes, Batman has a higher depth when it comes to weaponry, but 
I'm looking at Moon Knight, who is occasionally walking around with gauntlets that fire his crescents. All Spider Rider, he's walking around with guns. So at range, far more dangerous when it comes to Moon Knight. Versatility, this is how many how many tools do you bring to it? Well, this is Batman. Batman's gonna be a utility belt, he's gonna bring a tremendous amount more tools to the to the party. Moon Knight, more dangerous tools. Batman definitely a much higher degree of tools. Now I've done X Factor. One of the difficult things about a fight kind of like this is I'm looking at a person who is given a level of superhuman abilities basis the phase of the moon. Or he's just crazy. So there's there, there's a range with Moon Knight where he can either have superhuman strength and endurance, or he's a regular person. At the fullest phase of the moon, he's very strong. As it starts to wane more and more and more, he's actually not. Batman is the same every time. It's not like, oh, full moon, Batman's super jacked. Oh, it's a sliver. Batman's weak. Which makes me actually want to give it to Batman. But not because, <clears throat> depending on, well, depending on, on exactly where he's getting his strength. If it is mystically enchanted, then at the full phase of the moon, Moon Knight's got this. He's got he's got the additional attributes added to him. He's got a little bit better when it comes to armor. But for everything that's not a full moon, his strength is gonna wane a little bit. His durability is gonna wane a little bit. His vulnerability actually is gonna stay the same. He's still gonna have the same weaponry to him, still have the same gear. But what gives him the, the advantages are going to wane. <coughs> well Batman is gonna have that issue. So I think these two were in a fight. If it's a full moon, it's Moon Knight. If we're looking at three quarters and less, I think Batman takes us. So I give the X Factor X to the Batman. Probably because I think that if Moon Knight's at his peak, it's Moon Knight. But there's a lot when it comes to phase of the moon. Is it just because he's it's a psychotic individual and he psychologically is being enhanced by this? There's certain attributes to his character that are a little bit more on the wild side when it comes to trying to trying to gear them out. So I do think that Batman would actually stand a pretty good chance of beating him. So five to four Batman. What that means is Batman more than likely would get the win on, on Moon Knight. <coughs> but it's not gonna be a fast fight, it's not gonna be a curb stop. 